All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. So I've got my phone out. I'm going to do a screen recording, but we are going to learn how to tune a guitar for free, easy mode. Um, you do not need to be super fancy uh, when it comes to guitar tuners, but there's a very, very fantastic app. Um, just any kind of app is, is going to be handy for you, but we're going to go into some guitar tuning principles. So typically a guitar tuner is going to be something or just any kind of form of tuner. Uh, you're either going to get these things that clip on. Um, back in my day, we used to use these all the time. They were very, very handy. Um, and this one I use is called the Polytune one. It's very, very good. It's what I use for gigging. Uh, very handy guitar tuner, but this costs a lot of money and uh, we hear about making guitar easy and ac accessible. Um, typically, if you guys are looking at what uh, this video, I would assume you have some form of smart device, either an Android or an Apple one with an, uh, with an app store application or something that is available. But uh, what you're going to use is this app called Guitar Tuna. It's spelled like a, with a fish. Um, so I've got it on my phone here on the app store. I will... I'd look, I'm really bad at editing, but I will try and figure out a way to put it on the screen. I'm sure there's a ninja way to do it. So I'm recording it on my screen. So hopefully if I can pull this off, y'all make sure you guys like give me a crisp high five in the comments. Uh, cause this is, this is some crazy stuff that if I can pull this off, I'll be like so proud of myself. Anyway, we're going to go into the app. You're going to download it. Once you open it up, it'll try to sell you something just skip about skip it don't buy the thing um you the guitar tuner itself is free now the interface of the guitar tuner um you're typically either going to have um it's hard for me to show you but bah, 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 bah. i don't know like so see here it has like what it'll it will try and figure out what note you're playing i don't know if it's gonna do it for me now so you see how i'm tapping it here it's picking the note um, and what it's going to do is you're going to have a, a line where it wants you to go into the middle, which means it's in tune. And then, so you have the line in the middle, which means in tune. And then you have, oh, I've got to get my thing. And then the line to the, okay, so my left is actually, okay, cool. So this is a bit weird. So for me, um, so it's in tune. And then if I go over to your right, then that means it's going to be sharp. And then if I go over to the left, it means it's flat. So what's going to happen is the difference between sharp and flat is flat is lower and sharp is higher note. So I'm going to play the note that's in tune. Now that's flattening. Now I'm going to go back into tune. And now I'll be in tune. So there's my E note. And now if I'm going to go sharp, I'm tightening even more. So when you look at the tuner, if you see that the tuner is on the right, that means it's too high and you need to bring it down lower. And if you see the note is to the left from the note that you're aiming for, it needs to go up. Now, this, the reason why I want you guys to use this guitar tuner app, um, at least just at the beginning, just get a hang of it, is because it shows you the, um, the, the tuning pegs of the guitar correctly on acoustic guitar. Uh, if it's an electric guitar, uh, where's another example? Uh, so this is an electric guitar. So if you have an electric one, sometimes they have them all in a row. So that's the only difference. So the way the guitar tuning will work is you're gonna have from your E, a, D, G, B, E. And then if you're going to have an acoustic guitar, typically the tuning is going to wrap around. So you're gonna get E and then it wraps around G, B, E. So it just goes like that. Um, now the app itself has that written out for you. Um, it shows you the note names and the ones that you're aiming for. So we got E is the first one. And I'll aim, to, oh, my guitar's actually in tune, so it's a bit tricky. But I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna mess with this thing so that you guys will see it's all weird. So I play my first note. So right now I'm looking at the app and it's coming down. And I've nearly got it in tune. Come 
on, buddy. It's because the, the my phone's too far away from it. Whoops. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and now we go to the next one. So I'm going to play the fifth string, which is meant to be an A. So you see how it's all the way to the left? I'm like, damn, that sounds crap. Now, that means I need to tighten the string. And you see as I'm tightening it, it's getting closer and closer. Boom. And now we're on to D. Now see how it's on the right side, that means it's sharp. So you can see on the screen it has like a, a little B sign and then there's like a hashtag sign. So the hashtag means sharp and the little B sign means it's flat. And then you bring it down. And then the next one, G. So that's flat, we gotta bring it up. So you see how I'm, the, you can hear the pitch is coming up, that means I'm tightening. Wicked, and then we're going to B, bring it down, it's sharp. Now, boom, and now it wants me to play Sweet Home Alabama. It's gonna teach me how to do it. What do you mean? I know how to do it. Oh, it's gonna, wow, that's a pretty cool app. Look at that, it just teaches you a whole song. You're in tune and it's like, let's go, buddy. Um, anyway, uh, so basically, that's how, how you're gonna tune a guitar. Um, use that app, see how you go. Uh, now, if you guys have not followed the guitar buying guide, um, you need to get your guitar set up. Uh, typically, uh, really crappy guitars or like really low quality guitars will go out of tune a lot. Um, things that will affect your tuning is the temperature of the room it's in. Like if it's got really humid, like in Australia, we have problems where like it gets really humid. So it'll get humid and hot in one room and then you put the air conditioner on it will just throw things out of whack. So temperature affects it. If you have such a varying temperature in the space that you're in, try to put your guitar on the guitar case. But typically I would recommend keep you, keeping your guitar out so you can always play it. Um, but at the beginning, because depending on your skill level, if you're really struggling getting a guitar in tune, um, there's most likely someone within your circle that can play the guitar that can help you tune it. So don't be afraid to ask someone for help. Um, just don't be scared. Just be like, hey, can I need help? Or literally take your guitar to the guitar store and be like, guys, I suck with guitar tuning. Could you, could just someone could, could please just tune this guitar just for like two seconds? I know it will be annoying at the beginning, but if you can start from having a guitar in tune, it will always help. Um, and look, I, I have students that seriously just will have the guitar out of tune the whole week, but you picking up the guitar and playing is like, th that's all that matters. <laughs> like I, I've, <laughs> I've watched kids absolutely slay like they get so good with like fretting and they're playing a bunch of notes and um and their guitar's completely out of tune i tune it for them and then they move on and they're like oh my guitar's out of tune i was like cool but they were still having fun playing the instrument so don't be afraid to play the instrument it'll just um not sound good when you play a recording to it so um yeah give that a shot see how you go jump into the community if you are really struggling see if um you can match up with someone else. They could hit, sit on a Zoom call or like you guys can like meet up or if I'm available, I will help you guys tune. Typically, that's not the smartest thing for me to do in my time. But if I am doing a Q&A and someone's like, hey, my guitar's out of tune, how do I tune? <laughs> we, we, can, we can help you out. There'll be a lot of other people mad, but you know, as long as we get you playing, that's all that matters. So use the community, post a video, hey, my string is sounding really, really wrong. Someone could be like, oh, well, that's because it's like super, super tuned up too high. You need to tune way down lower. So at the beginning, this will be a painful process, but the more times that you tune your guitar, the more times that you give that practice a go, like literally untune your guitar and retune it, untune it, retune it. Just practice the feeling of like, what does it feel like to have the string go too sharp or too flat? And then finding the note. That is straight up a skill. The sooner you get used to that skill of tuning, 
Um, the quicker you're going to get at one, recognizing I am out of tune and two, you'll just get faster at tuning. You'll just see the app bang, do, 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 and then you're done. Now, the reason why I tell you to get this app is really handy and easy. Um, but worst case scenario, um, like, like you've got this thing that's free and it's, and it works and it shows you the note names that you're aiming for. And then also it will teach you how to play sweet home Alabama before I can teach you how to sweet play Sweet Home Alabama, it beat me. It beat me to the punch because future lessons, you will learn how to play Sweet Home Alabama. Anyway, um, good luck. Uh, if you have questions, again, jump into the comments, uh, message me, jump into the community chat, ask questions in the guitar channel there, um, post videos of yourself playing, tuning your guitar, making mistakes. I love it. I want to see it all. Um, so I'll see you guys in the next module. Let's go.